Crystal Thambrini here coming to you from Westside Pavilion with your special Valentine's Day report. It's going to be all about where you should go for Valentine's, whether you're going out with your mom, a friend, or have a hot date, and what you should get them. So first up, the Landmark Theater. Let's go check it out. Hi Dan, how are you? Great. I can't believe we're actually in a theater right now, the Landmark Theater, but you have a wine bar here. That's right, right in the middle of the theater. This is awesome. It is fantastic. So why do you guys have a wine bar in the theater? It's a great idea. Well, actually, it goes perfectly with the type of movies we show. We show a lot of uh, very upscale, sophisticated films here, a lot of independent films, films that adults want to see. And adults want to relax after or before the movie, and what better way to relax than to have a glass of excellent fine wine or some fabulous beer. This is a great place to bring a date and it's different. You can it's have wine, actually, yeah. go to the movies. Good Valentine's Day tip. It's a great Valentine's Day place. Well hey, let's um, check out the theater. All right, it's sounds the theater. Good. All right, perfect. So we're inside the Landmark Theater right now and check this out. These love seats are amazing. How do you get these? Is this like special VIPs or? Nope, regular tickets. Just really? go to the box office or our concierge desk and you can buy a ticket. You feel like you're at a private showing right now. That's right. Everyone can feel like their own director when they walk in here. Oh, I love it. Well, hey, actually, I have to go catch up with Cupid right now. Believe it or not, scored an interview with Cupid. Right on. <laughs> Cupid, Cupid, take it easy now. <laughs> so what are you doing here, Westside Pavilion? Well, it, it, it's uh, Valentine's Day, and yeah? uh, I'm working overtime. You know, it's, it's a lot of people fall in love at the mall. So what, what's the deal with Valentine's Day anyway? I know that there's like over a billion Valentine's Day cards are sent each year, yep. and like yep. 14 billion dollars a year Americans spend in Valentine's Day presents. Even, you don't even count South America. South America, people fall in love all the time. Hi, how you doing, ladies? <laughs> So I have to ask this. Yep. Do you have a Valentine for Valentine's Day, Cupid? No, I usually go Dutch. I'm actually kind of looking around. Mall's a good place to fall in love. You're here at Westside Pavilion to find someone? Exactly. All right, well, exactly. I wish you luck on that. Oh, thank, thank you yes. very much. And thank you so much for stopping by no in our problem. segment. Hey, my pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure. Cupid, everybody. <laughs> I had this one girlfriend, ex-girlfriend actually now, obviously. I bought her flowers, I bought her chocolates, I got her a teddy bear, brought it to her house, broke up with me right on the spot, out of nowhere. I mean, we've been going out for two years, but then, you know what? I went out, hooked up with her friend, it was perfect. Oh no! <laughs> so I got even, right away. So what are some great Valentine's Day gifts here at Planet Funk? Krista, so we have some fantastic Valentine's Day gifts. We have great jeans from Frankie B, sexy, fantastic for a night out on the town, and we have several versions that have hearts on the back pockets. We have some Ed Hardy tops that have hearts and other motifs on them, but very, very Valentine's oriented. So what do you think about Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day in 2002 was my first date with my husband. Um, oh, it was a blind cute. date. Two days before, he called me and asked if I would be his Valentine. Five months later, we were engaged, and three months later, we were married. So we celebrate that as our anniversary. That's I love Valentine's probably Day. Probably the best Valentine's Day story I've heard yet. Best ever. You can't really beat that. That's right, no. Now, tell us, do you have any bad Valentine's Day experiences, Ashley? I have the worst Valentine's story from last year. My boyfriend, who I've known for five years. Oh, I know, so sorry in advance. <laughs> He came over to my apartment. I made this huge, beautiful, elaborate dinner. I made it really beautiful, and he brought nothing. Not even a card for oh. Valentine's Day. Not even a card. Didn't you say have to have you, a card. Nothing. Yeah, I gotta have at least a card. Maybe one flower. So he's gonna pick it up for this Valentine's Day, though, right? Better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so homemade gifts are always a great idea for Valentine's Day, and especially when they include gold and diamonds. I'm here with a mother-daughter duo, and they're making bracelets here at Scandahoovians. So you guys are making like matching bracelets? Kind yes, of something? Exactly. We're making Valentine's bracelets for each other, so some of the beads um, are matching. So. I feel like mother-daughter bracelets, you guys can keep them forever. 
I love this. Absolutely. It's so cute. I want to do this with my mom. Now, making a bracelet or a necklace here is a great idea for Valentine's Day. Now, tell us about these beads here. How much are these beads? Um, this one is the Royal Wedding Bead, and it's $635. Ooh. And uh, it was made for the uh, prince and his bride to be of Denmark. It is 18 karat gold, and they're just amazing. The craftsmanship in it, and it's just so creative. So, what's your worst Valentine's Day experience? Well, I was dating this guy. We went out to dinner. And we were at this fancy restaurant, Santa Monica. The check comes, he excuses himself to the restroom, and then he never comes back. What? He got never ditched? I got ditched on Valentine's Day. Ooh. With the big check. That's bad. That's really bad. So remember, Valentine's Day is just right around the corner, February 14th, so don't forget. You got some great gift ideas from me, and remember, Landmark Theater, amazing place to take a date or a friend. And actually, I think Cupid's over there right now. I got my ticket, so I'm going to go back there. It's awesome. The seats are so comfy. All right, guys, I'll see more of you soon. You're watching your LA.